Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, May 25th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 25. The second note, love. Jesus said, I give you a new commandment, love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By th- This everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. From the 13th chapter of the Gospel of John. Love is the distinguishing feature of all true disciples of Christ who wish to dedicate themselves to him as his servants. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the Society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is the first part of Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord, and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham his servant, O children of Jacob his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgment prevails in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying, To you will I give the land of Cana to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another, he let no one oppress them, and rebuked kings for their sake saying, Do not touch my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then he called for a famine in the land, and destroyed the supply of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet in fetters. His neck they put in an iron collar, until his predictions came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over all his possessions, to instruct his princes according to his will, and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this, 
and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, and gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three, do you think, was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, Hear us, Lord of glory. That our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray for the Church, for our leaders, for Bishop William, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin, and we pray for the Communion throughout the world, for the Anglican Church of Canada, the Province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew, that isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray for this country. We pray for the King, for our Governor-General. We pray for our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council that he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray for those among us this day who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness, that he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray for the world, for Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, China, Taiwan, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States, that by his power wars and famine may cease throughout all the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, for those in our hospital and our nursing homes. 
the week. Any recovering from surgery, waiting surgery, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And the dying. That he may comfort and strengthen them, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the province of the Americas, for the United States of America, including Puerto Rico. And we pray for Darlene, Louise, Amanda, Mark, Max, Steve, Donna, Jonathan, Isabel, Glenn, Marlene, Mark, Carolyn, Brenda, Georgiana, Susan, Alice, Janet, James, Peter, Janice, Masood, and our companions, Andrew and Anne. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Mercifully give us faith to know that, as he promised, he abides with us on earth to the end of time, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. <laughs>